Welcome back, dear viewers. And in this uh, segment of our program, we are going to talk about Egypt's role in the development uh, of Africa and to what extent Egypt has succeeded in regaining its uh, pivotal role in the black continent. And to shed more light on this issue, we are joined over the phone by uh, Ambassador Mohammed Hgazi, former assist uh, by uh, actually uh, Dr. Yom Nahamaki, uh, professor of economics at James University. Good morning, uh, Dr. Yom. Good morning. So, uh, Dr. Yom, uh, President of Fatah has uh, wrapped up, uh, has just wrapped up his visit uh, to Africa, to Japan, uh, where he attended the TICAT 7 uh, meetings, and uh, it was a great proof of Egypt's leading role in Africa. So, what's your comment on this? Uh, I think uh, this visit was quite important uh, regarding the uh, the cooperation between uh, Japan and Africa. Yes. And uh, since Egypt took uh, uh, the presidency of uh, African Union this year, uh, uh, Egypt exerted uh, great effort uh, toward uh, having a new vision regarding uh, uh, to how extent Africa is going to be introduced uh, into the world economy and integrated into the world economy uh, by, uh, you know, uh, enhancing economic development by industrialization of the continent. And uh, this took several dimensions, starting by having uh, uh, it strengthening, you know, the uh, efforts that have been done towards uh, uh, having a, a free trade area for the 55 countries in Africa. This free trade area is quite important for Africa in order to activate uh, uh, cooperation and economic activities, investment and trade uh, among the continent, which will stimulate, uh, you know, uh, having more opportunities of job and the industrialization of the continent. Besides, you know, uh, this industrialization, I believe, is going to offer uh, uh, more opportunities for job, uh, taking into consideration that the continent is suffering from unemployment and poverty, uh, besides uh, being severely affected by uh, climate change. And this topic has been discussed uh, in uh, uh, the TCAD, besides the partnership between the private and public sector, which could uh, stimulate opportunities of investment in the continent. Uh, several uh, sessions have been uh, done in order to uh, discuss uh, types of cooperation uh, between Japanese, uh, uh, you know, companies and uh, uh, investors in uh, Africa which will uh, open the door for uh, more investment uh, uh, into the continent. Uh, the continent is in deep need to transfer of technology uh, uh, and uh, opening opportunities in international market uh, by enhancing the exports of the continent. This will uh, add into uh, you know, more opportunities of job for uh, people. Uh, I believe that, uh, uh, you know, this, uh, uh, you know, uh, conference was quite uh, important to, uh, to discuss the impact of climate change and to how extent uh, developed countries, uh, you know, are going to support developing countries on top of them, Africa, in order to address uh, the severe effect of climate change. Uh, Africa is uh, severely affected by the climate change, despite that the emissions of uh, Africa is quite minimal compared to, uh, you know, uh, that of developed countries. Uh, so from here it comes the responsibility of developed countries to support Africa regarding uh, how to address climate change uh, and several topics have been discussed regarding uh, you know how to enhance investment in renewable energy uh, uh, taking into consideration that Japan uh, is a pioneer in uh, uh, renewable energy 
so to how extent we can have uh, projects in Africa, uh, uh, cooperation between private and public sector, and as well as the uh, you know inflows of investments that can go to Africa for the benefit uh, of the uh, of uh, investors in both sides. Uh, at the same time, you know, um, uh, what uh, are the role of, as uh, the, the speech of uh, President Sisi uh, has uh, elaborated on the needs of uh, uh, African continent in order to address uh, these challenges. Uh, uh, on top of them, uh, you know, methods of finance, how to develop methods of finance, how, uh, uh, you know, we can uh, rationalize uh, types of finance that can go to the continent and how the continent can benefit from this finance uh, in order to uh, develop uh, investment that they may help to address climate change. So these, uh, you know, visions regarding uh, how the continent can, uh, uh, you know, encounter uh, challenges that may affect uh, development, uh, how to uh, enhance the human capital in the continent, which can be represented as a very important asset uh, towards, uh, you know, uh, enhancing economic development in the continent. Uh, Dr. Jung, that would bring me to ask about uh, to what extent Africa actually could benefit from uh, the Western uh, countries, the developed countries. Uh, I believe, you know, this, uh, uh, this is quite important uh, uh, to specify uh, how, the, how Africa can benefit from developed countries. Why? Because all, the, you know, for the past period, uh, we, uh, we know quite well that uh, Africa was a source of uh, raw materials as well as market for the products of developed countries. Uh, without taking uh, consideration on to how to, uh, you know, uh, enhance capabilities of investment, industrialization, uh, building human capital, and this uh, has been reflected on, you know, uh, unemployment and poverty. Uh, how we can change that is by uh, the transfer of technology mm -hmm. and enhancing human capital yes. uh, as well as the rationalizing methods of, uh, you know, uh, uh, finance in the continent. We all know that uh, Egypt uh, had a conference in Sharm el Sheikh yes. a few months ago regarding the most important obstacles that uh, uh, has been responsible for that, uh, which is corruption. Yes. And I believe that combating corruption in the continent mm -hmm. is quite important in order to enhance economic development. Mm. So, uh, Dr. Uh, Yomna, uh, to what extent uh, Egypt uh, can enhance cooperation between European uh, countries, uh, the G7 countries, and uh, the African countries, as uh, the president uh, attended before heading to uh, Japan, uh, the G7 summit. I believe that Egypt can be a hub for, you know, developing the continent uh, regarding, you know, uh, to how extent uh, Egypt can uh, uh, support the continent in uh, technical assistance, in uh, into developing their capabilities, uh, because we we know the the situation, uh, socio-economic uh, situation in African countries. Uh, we uh, we. We have developed our relations with the continent uh, um, intensively. Um, uh, nowadays, for more than two years, we are developing the capabilities of free trade area, uh, the institutional background for uh, the free trade area. We have in Africa two visions, uh, 2030 uh, and uh, 2063, which is a long-term vision and to achieve sustainable development. And uh, sustainable development to be achieved is uh, uh, we need to take into consideration the three dimensions, economic, environmental, and uh, social. And from here it comes that uh, developing, you know, uh, the capacity uh, for investment in renewable, uh, in renewable energy. Uh, 
uh, in uh, you know adaptation and mitigation uh, all this uh, we as a continent nowadays is uh, exerting effort towards having uh, these plans action plans in order to uh, achieve sustainable development and i believe egypt could be a hub and uh, uh, we witness uh, the last period several conferences uh, uh, to discuss uh, the methods of doing that by having conference for youth. Youth uh, is uh, a, a cornerstone for the continent to achieve uh, their goals. Uh, another, uh, uh, you know, conference that have been held in order to develop, uh, uh, you know, uh, the capacity uh, for uh, the continent regarding enhancing capabilities of training uh, in order to upgrade uh, skills uh, so that this could help in to achieve uh, economic development. So uh, several dimensions that uh, need to be addressed uh, in order to uh, activate efforts uh, towards more economic development for the continent. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dr. Yom, uh, we cannot uh, uh, deny that Egypt uh, is a great advocate for the issue of the African free trade deal, which was uh, actually incremented uh, uh, recently. To what extent that uh, Africa free trade uh, uh, um, agreement could actually boost the African economy in the coming period? I believe still a lot of uh, effort should be done in order to activate the free trade area. First of all, we have to develop, uh, uh, you know, uh, the capacity, institutional capacity for uh, uh, having more uh, economic cooperation among uh, the, uh, the African countries. We should start by having the, uh, uh, by studying the comparative advantage for African countries, how to uh, to be uh, integrated created uh, by uh, creating the opportunities of investment that uh, uh, can be built on cooperation rather than competition among the African countries. Uh, at the same time, uh, another point is regarding how to harmonize uh, economic, act, uh, economic policies, uh, specifically monetary and uh, fiscal policies. This is another step that should be taken. Uh, a third one regarding uh, building capacity of human resources among the continent combating uh, uh, we should have a, a, a you know a, a very extensive uh, a, you know plan toward combating poverty by referring to uh, uh, the economic empowerment of poor people and strengthening on the role of women since uh, we have the phenomena of feminization of poverty in the continent. So all this can be regarded as a very important dimension toward uh, you know, uh, enhancing uh, the role of economic integration for achieving economic development in the continent. Okay, Dr. Yom uh, Hamaki, Professor of Economics, St. Shams University, thank you for being with us. And of course, uh, that uh, our dear viewers was um, uh, a, a very important topic about uh, the economy of Africa and how Egypt is playing an important role in boosting the African economy. Uh, as uh, His Excellency President Sisi was uh, attending uh, the uh, TICAD 7 uh, summit, which was taking place in Japan. Of course, um, ahead of that, uh, President Sisi attended the, the G7 summit. Uh, uh, in uh, France, of course, with the participation of many world leaders discussing the most important files concerning Africa in particular um, uh, as Egypt is chairing the African Union. Of course, great achievements by Egypt till this moment regarding Africa and how to boost the African economy how to uh, uh, develop uh, uh, the African continent, the uh, youth and um, em uh, empowerment in Africa, women empowerment in Africa, as well as the sustainable uh, development. I will give viewers a short break, and after that, we'll be back to resume the segments in our show for today. So stay tuned. الواقع الاقتصادي في مصر تحدي ضخم ولازم نعترف بده ونقبله ونعالجه اطلعوا وكلموا الناس وقولوا الموقف الاقتصادي ايه زي ما الثوره ليها ايجابيات الثوره بيبقى ليها سلبيات على مجتمعاتها 
الإرهاب والفساد كانوا عاملين إضافيين في إضعاف القدرة الاقتصادية لنا. مفيش اقتصاد يبقى مفيش تعليم، يبقى مفيش صحة، يبقى مفيش بنية أساسية. بنحاول نقلل الفجوة بين الموارد وبين المصروفات. كل القرارات الصعبة أنا لن أتردد ثانية إن أنا أخدها لو هنعمل حاجة قبل ما هنعملها هنقول لكم عليها وأنتوا هتقفوا جنبي الأمانة اللي أنتوا محملتوها لي تجاه الوطن مش بس أنتوا اللي هتحاسبوني عليها اللي هيحاسبني عليها ربنا قبلكم ثم التاريخ